What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be going over some reasons why I think if you are on the market for a dog, a Rhodesian Ridgeback could be the perfect fit for you and your family. If you guys wouldn't mind before we get started, go ahead and hit that like button and hit the subscribe button. It really helps me out and it helps the channel grow and get headed in the right direction. So one of my favorite things about the Ridgeback is even though they look like a very intimidating and uh, from the outside looking in scary dog, they're actually amazing family dogs. Um, they're super loving and super friendly to any friends or guests you have over at the house. They're not gonna, I mean, they might jump on them and act a little bit crazy and it might be intimidating to the people coming in. Like why is a, for me, our instance, it's like, they're like, why is a 120 pound dog jumping on me right now? Like relax. Um, but. You know they're they're super loving and they're super kind and compassionate and uh, they just like spending time around their people. Another really great thing about the Rhodesian Ridgeback is they are straight up, with no training required, a guard dog. Um, one of the best guard dogs you can get, and you don't got to go take them to some fancy place and spend a ton of money to make them understand that you want them to protect the house. They do it. It's in their blood. It's in all of them. Um, they're all going to be a guard dog. Now, when the intruder comes in, I don't know if they're going to go crazy and, you know, tear them to pieces or anything like that. I've never experienced that, but I have experienced if anybody gets close to our house that Diesel is not aware of who they are or what they're doing here, he's going to let them know and they're not going to come in. Uh, another thing about the Ridgebacks is, you know, this could be a positive and negative. Um, depending on who you are and what your lifestyle is. Uh, they do get a bit of separation anxiety. Diesel um, has been known to get a little crazy if you leave him in the house for too long. Um, leaving him there over the weekend by themselves, probably just not the greatest choice in the world. Um, they just, they, they get to a point where they're so attached to their family that if you leave them you know, by themselves for those extended period of times so that it, it really stresses them out and they're like, man, did, at least for Diesel, he's always like, man, did they, did they leave me? Are they, are they gone? Are they coming back? Like, do they love me still? Like, just overreact to the max and get stressed out and super anxious about it. But, I mean, leaving them away by themselves for like a day or something like that, not a huge deal, but like a full weekend or a few days at a time, um, that could be a little bit problematic. So the Ridgeback is also, they're gonna require physical activity. Um, they, they can very happily be a couch potato and sit there for you know a decent amount of the day and not do much, but they're active dogs, they're big and playful and they wanna be outside and they wanna be doing stuff. So um, if you're a person who kinda just sits around the apartment or the house or whatever it is, the, whatever the case may be all day long, um, probably not the greatest dog for you just because you know they're they're wound up and they want to have fun they want to go outside they want to go hike or they want to go run or walk around the neighborhood do something it doesn't have to be you know hours and hours of, on end of you know exercise daily but definitely at least 30 minutes to an hour of walking around just hanging out and spending you know time with them and making sure that they're staying active and uh not only for their personality but as well as for their physical health it's really good for them and it's it, it's really something that they need Ridgebacks also, from my experience at least, and from what I hear of other people's experiences, they are not a huge fan of rain. Um, <laughs> I mean, where, where the breed comes from, there's not a ton of rain at all times uh, of the year, so I'm sure that has a lot to do with it, but man, when it's raining, diesel is just like, hey, I'm gonna hang this one out inside today, boss. And we're like, all right, so that's what we're doing. Um, but yeah, they're not a big fan of rain and uh, I mean they'll run out there if they have to but just not not huge on the rain also from my experience Diesel has not been huge on the cold weather um, Usually winter time. He's like He's waiting for that sunny day to go outside and kind of lay in the Sun um, But in the winter time snow and all that he's just kind of like man We'll chill inside, you know, I'll go outside for a little bit, but I'm not about to spend all day outside like I do in the summer. And in the summertime, they're, they're outside dogs. They're going to be outside. It'll be 105 degrees and he's going to be laying there in the sun, soaking it up like he's tanning. Um, so they love to be outside. Uh, fair, I guess you could say they're fair weather dogs. Well, that's all I got for this one. Um, thank you guys for being here and thank you for tuning in. If you haven't already, please hit the like and subscribe button. It really helps me. I'm going to try to start posting more about a lot of different things and really growing the channel. And we will see you guys in the next one. Have a good one, y'all. God bless.
You want to go in?